Hey everybody, it is the beginning of a new week, and this is Avi Abelo, and I'm sitting here today with Gedalia Bloom from Boomerang, also known as Boomerang Gives, or Special Project Boomerang Gives. Boomerang Gives. And uh, Gedalia also was a, was a good close friend of Ari's, and he is involved in the, um, in the truck project, raising the money to, to, to the, end, the, the last money necessary so that we can get that truck in Ari's memory and in, his, and, and, and in memory of his friend Yoshua. And uh, that's not it. You want to tell, uh, tell everybody what else is being planned for, for the year anniversary? And guys, this is all about keeping <clears throat> Ari's memory alive alive online alive in the work that he did with the soldiers this is it we're all sad we miss him but this is what we're doing to make the world a better place because of who he was and us keeping his spirit and activities that he believed in alive so what, what's up yeah so first of all the idea avi thank you for having me everybody welcome to my twitter feed also Try it. um Everybody knows that, uh, you know, right after Ari Fold was murdered, about a week or two after, we all went to Josh Hasten's place and we decided that we're going to keep Ari's work alive by creating the Judean Roundtable. And so we've been doing things. You've taken over a lot of Ari's social media stuff. Some. Not a lot. Some of it. We try to, we try to replicate his activities. Unfortunately, we're not Ari Fold. Right? We spoke of this before. We're our, our own people who do... Uh, different things uh, with different the, strengths with the same goal we all it's like a diamond we all have the point of the diamond we all share that point we all have different sides but that's why it's so easy for us all to work together anyway so a few months ago we were talking about how what we could do for Ari's Yard site that was coming up and for his and, one year anniversary of his, of, his, of his murder and so working with Ezri Tubi of Boomerang Gives uh, every month we, we, we utilize the media of Ezri to uh, highlight uh, an amazing project that's going on in Judea and Samaria. So, of course, this came up, and I said, let's do something for Ari. We called the family. We called you. What is it? What's going on? The truck. The truck. Ari was raising money for the truck. Huh? It's a $200,000 truck before it even leaves the shop. It's a customized, all-terrain vehicle. It could go anywhere soldiers could go. And Ari raised half of it. I said, ah, we don't have to do something for Ari. We can do something with Ari. And that was the point of doing this Boomerang Gives. It, and, we, wait, so, and people should know that this truck, Ari was raising money for it in order mm -hmm. to go pamper the IVF soldiers like he used to do. And it was going to be in memory of his friend Yoshua. And it was going to have a picture of, his, of, of Yoshua on the truck. And now, since Ari is no longer with us, and uh, he and Yoshua's picture together are going to be in this truck to keep both of their memories alive, both of their spirits alive. Right. Unfortunately, Ari wanted to be in the truck. Now he'll be on the truck. All right. And Ari's dream now could be our dream. That Our dream that everybody says, Ari was so great. He was part of my life. He, he brought me into Israel. You speak. We spoke to his father. Everybody, every, if anybody's seen this video that we did, that Boomerang did. For, great video. For, the, for this project. We'll, we'll put it on later. His, Ari's father said, there's always a question there's always something like i met ari and i met ari and i made aliyah i met ari and i wanted to join the army i met ari and i wanted to fly to the moon who knows the fact that he was so in, in, he was so inspirational and so this was our chance to say we're not going to put a plaque on the wall for ari we're not going to say in memory of ari we're going to we're going to memorialize him by building him an iron kodesh or we're going to build we're going to we're going to put a plaque on the wall we're going to name a building after him. no we are going to not only part, literally, literally partner with Ari, finish out the project that he funded half of it for, but we are going to enable the work to continue Ari's legacy, the work that he did on the ground for the soldiers, to finally bear fruit. With his presence on that work, his picture on that truck being driven around the country. It's not him inside handing out the hamburgers or handing out the pizza or pamper, personally pampering the soldiers, but his face on that truck, all the soldiers will remember him, will learn about him. What better way that Israeli IDF soldiers will continue to know the legacy of Ari by seeing his face on that truck when it 
rolls up into base and they're given food and they're pampered and they're told, yeah, this is this is Ari Fold. Oh, I remember learning about Ari Fold. Wow, unbelievable. And someone actually asked the question. Penny was asking, who's going to be taking over the work for this truck? So just to answer you, Penny, the truck will be run by the Standing Together organization that Ari works for. That, that organization continues. Ari helped run the organization. He was spearheading raising the money for the truck, but that organization still exists. They still run around the country pam pampering soldiers, just without Ari, uh, pres his, without his presence physically. But this truck is going to be used by the Standing Together organization, and will be keeping Ari's memory alive and keeping his activities alive. Right, so first and foremost, this is part of the Ari Fold Project, which has been a nonprofit organization that has been spearheaded by his friend Steve Levitt. Levitt? Levitt. Levitt. And his wife Miriam. And his wife Miriam. And now, one of the projects that they want finished is this truck. Now, to date, to date, Boomerang Gives has launched a project that we, we, you, everybody, has, has been a, a part of raising $22,000. Out of a total of about fifty thousand dollars, if you go on the J Gibbs site, it says thirty-five. We'll put the link goal. up here so that everyone can donate. If you haven't seen it or donated yet, we'll put it right here with this post. Please click through, and you could be a part of this special project as well. You you could be a partner with Ari, period. Right. Full stop. Right. So we had a great wave. Things are still coming in. We're still on target going, but on Thursday the twenty-sixth. Thursday the twenty-sixth, folks. Here, why don't you announce it? Everyone knows those Jerry Lewis telethons. Well, we're going to be doing an Ari Fold livethon. What are we? What are we calling it? We'll call. Well, no, we can't call it a telethon because no one's really. Gonna I said keep a livethon. I know, but yeah, a streamathon. A streamathon. Uh, Ari Fold streamathon. The first only. The first ever streamathon, right? We're going to be doing a live broadcast from Jerusalem. Jerusalem Professional TV Studio. There we go. The place, the city that Ari loved. Uh, and was spiritually enhanced by so a live streaming from Jerusalem um, where we're going to be talking about Ari bringing his presence to life for people who knew him for people who didn't know him a chance to learn about him hear from people who, learn, who, who knew him during his life his family and it's going to be a very very special live streaming event that you'll be able to watch online all the links will be sent out and it's Thursday September 26th and again, this is in memory of Ari, where on the one hand we're sad that he's no longer with us, but we're going to be using using this uh, time of year to spread the light, to spread the inspiration that he used to share with all of us. So we're going to be in studio, and we're going to be out studio. We It's it's amazing the tech, the, the tech capabilities that we're going to have. It's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be meaningful. Now, here's where everybody comes in. Okay, we have 18 people. We have about... 30 people online right now, right now, but hopefully not a lot of you watching. If you get to this point, put a comment in the in in this stream right now that says, I'm in. And when you write, I'm in, that means that you are going to, you are committing to be part of the promotion of this event, meaning we're going to put you on a WhatsApp, we're going to show you behind the scenes what's going on. We're going to get you excited like we're excited. When we go live, we want you to go and shout from the rooftops. Everybody, get online and click on this live stream and let's celebrate Ari's life. Let's celebrate Yeshua's life. It's going to be meaningful. We're going to cry. We're going to laugh. We're going to see Ari as a child. We're going to see Ari as an adult. We're going to all over the place. We're going to see Ari as a soldier, as a, as a kung fu instructor. I mean, this is great. And it's not all about Torah Ari. Dojo. Torah Dojo. It's about his celebrating his life, but most importantly, it's about continuing his work. Whether you want to call it his memory, whether you want to call it his legacy, I want my grandchildren to wake up in the morning one day when they're in the army. God forbid they need to be in the army, but they're in the army and they're in the field and they see a big truck roll up with two big pictures. I want to say, I want them to call me up and be like, Abba, Ari and Yeshua just came to visit me. And it was great. I got my first ice cream after, like, weeks of being in the field. You know, on, on that note, um, after, after Ari was murdered, and I was internalizing it all, and, um, and the headline news about Ari's murder and who he was and, and, and just the attention he was getting from you, the attention he received in death that he didn't receive in life, unfortunately, but he did receive it in death, um, 
I sat my kids down talking to them. My kids were, were neighbors, were family friends. My kids are friends with, with his friend, with his kids. So it was a much more personal experience for us, more so than just the whole public, uh, 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 whatever attention. And I sat them down. And I said, "Listen, when you, when you kid, when you're bigger, and your kids, and you have kids, they're going to be reading books and seeing movies about Ari Folt, and you guys are going to be able to say, I, I knew that guy in life. He's not just a myth. He's not just a legend. We knew him when he was alive." And that's what this is about. It's about spreading who he was so more and more people can get to know about who he was when he was alive. Well, that's an important point because books and stories aren't told by themselves. They need to be, there needs to be authors. And that's why we're here right now. Right? We're the, we're, we're the authors. We're the authors. We're the authors. All right, so everyone, two things. You have two things to do. First of all, you want to be involved and help out with a special one-year, uh, um, what are we calling it, live, live stream-a-thon. Write a comment saying, I'm in. We will be in touch with you. We will see who can do what to help make this a success in Ari's memory and keeping his work alive. That's number one. Two, oh, there's going to be three things. Two, we're going to put the link up here on these streams. If you have not yet donated towards the truck in Ari's memory and keeping his work alive, you can. Just click on the link and give something. And three, when the live streamathon happens on Thursday, September 26th, be involved in helping us share, share, share it, as Ari used to say. So this is the if you, there's any one thing you do in Ari's memory and to keep his memory alive is listen to his words. His words were always share, share, share. That's what you're gonna do when you see this live stream go live. Anything else? That's it. We love everybody here. Thank you so much. We really, really, really appreciate every single person here. Because if you weren't here, Avi and I would just be talking by ourselves. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in a final note, okay? I don't know how many of you are in Israel or following Israel, but I want to put in a final note of, of, of Ari's spirit. Ari was about a love of the Jewish people. Here in Israel, we are entering election season again. Election season is the ugliest of any society because that's when you have the negative campaigns coming out and mudslinging. It's horrible. But I want everyone to understand the reality. The reality is not the headlines. It's not the mudslinging of the different political parties. The headlines... We have a Jewish state with Jewish leaders who are deciding our own Jewish leadership and faith. That's one thing. <laughs> Another thing is that the Jewish people are more unified today than ever before. We, us little people who actually make the difference of life that our leaders should be following us in order to lead... We are healthy. We are unified. And Ari was about loving each and every Jew. Spread that love. And we're doing it. I love you, man. I love the Jews. And I love non-Jews who believe in the truth and spread the truth. That is what Ari was about as well. Live that. And then you're also living Ari's legacy. So everyone, thanks so much for watching. You remember those three things? One, write Amen if you're in to help out. Two, click on the link we're going to put in order to donate if you didn't donate yet. Three, take part in the live stream and share it so we can grow the on th Thursday, September 26th. It's out of here. Shalom, folks, from the eternal and undivided capital of the Jewish people, Jerusalem. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.